Notice in this example we are subtracting fractions. To add or subtract fractions we need to have the same denominator. So let's first decide upon the least common denominator. The least common denominator is 6 because 6 is the smallest number that this denominator divides into evenly and this denominator divides into evenly. So let's now take a moment and let's rewrite each fraction so that we have a denominator of 6. What do I multiply 2 by in order to get 6? I multiply 2 by 3. And if I multiply the denominator of a fraction by 3, I must multiply the numerator by 3. Now let's subtract 5, 6. We already have a denominator there of 6. So let's see what we have. 1 times 3 is 3 over 2 times 3 is 6 minus 5 over 6. Notice I now have the same denominators and now that I have the same denominators I have the right to place numerator 3 minus numerator 5 all over a common denominator of 6. And now let's simplify 3 minus 5. If you need to, go ahead and write it as 3 plus negative 5. Whichever way you go, 3 minus 5, that's negative 2 over 6. And notice this fraction can be simplified. 2 and 6 have a common factor of 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. Now I'm going to go ahead and take this negative and place it in front so I can think of 2 divided by 2 as 1 and this simplifies then to negative 1 third.